Hello fellow leaders. I may regret this later because I have been having a chronic pain flare up and I've already filmed in the past two days and I am very exhausted, but I am so excited for what I am holding here in my hands. I wasn't always a meta hoe, okay? I used to be more of a high newly hoe, which is to say that the very first dress I bought directly from a brand ever was the Royal kitten JSK in wine and as my funds kept growing and my interest in Lolita kept growing and my collection grew I couldn't help but try my best to collect every single high newly piece that I could get my hands on it's my favorite brand of all time of all time of all time and I'm not even sure I can pronounce it correctly but that doesn't matter because the designs are incredible most of my most precious dresses in my collection some of which I still haven't worn because I'm waiting for specific occasions are all by Hainuli. So of course when they collaborated with Moss Badger to release a JSK along with a tarot deck and a bunch of other extras, I got in on that the second it was available. I am one of the very lucky few who were able to get the discounted deluxe set price. I placed my order within seconds of the Kickstarter going live. And when I opened this box, I didn't recognize where it came from. Um, to be honest, I thought it might have been a Taobao order, but it came from an address in the United States. So I was very confused, but upon opening it, I saw this logo and everything had to stop. There was no time for makeup. There was no time for anything. I caught the slightest, littlest glimpse of the contents of this package. And now I must open the rest of it and I cannot wait. I did add the unboxing to my Instagram stories and it seems like y'all were frothing at the mouth just as much as me. So we are going through this today, but this is not my usual filming time. This is not my usual filming setup. So there are trains in the background and the light is gonna be weird, but I feel like it's worth going through the contents of this package right away. And another thing is that maybe later in the week I can get the try-on and coordinate shots done even if I don't have time for it today. It must happen now! This campaign really kicked the crap out of its stretch goals and I don't even remember all of what's supposed to be in here. Additionally, there have been some emails from the Kickstarter updates that say that a couple items had issues during manufacturing and are going to be delayed. And those things are shipping separately, but at least we have this huge thing here and judging by the weight this package there is a dress in here and hopefully some of the headdresses too okay let's just open it let's just let's just, let's just go ah! <laughs> i can't wait to show you all of this oh my gosh so this very first thing on the top is actually a handbag <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh wow this is gorgeous this was not one of the main things I ordered for, but it is so beautiful. It's got some of the motifs from the tarot deck, namely the faces of the moon, the skeleton skulls, and this gorgeous sword. And it's got the brand name. All of the hardware is gold, which is super pretty. And the inside is pretty standard as far as purses go. It's got a couple of smaller pockets as well as this one zipper pocket and is mostly just kind of empty space in there. I could use this bag even outside of Lolita. I am a tarot reader. And though I'm Jewish, there is a huge amount of magic in Judaica and spiritualism. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. And so I, of course, am carrying on the tradition the only way I know how, aesthetically. <laughs> putting this to the side now though because there's so much in this box. This is the next thing that I am pulling out. There are several of these velvet bags with this gold lettering and this specifically seems to be the tarot deck which is amazing. This bag was one of the upgrades and it says Wandering Spirit Tarot. The box also got an upgrade as part of the Kickstarter I believe. Holy moly, this is the prettiest box I have in my tarot collection officially. And not to overstate this, but I have quite a few decks and some of them have very pretty boxes, including the Evangelion tarot deck and a beautiful Legend of Zelda tarot deck that was hand drawn by a friend of mine. This though, this is, ugh stunning and it doesn't hurt that it's got all of my favorite colors. Here is the book and this is a really robust book but ah, 
I, yes! Okay, so my personal pet peeve with tarot books is when they don't include reverse meetings because as long as the back of the cards are symmetrical, you can do a reverse reading and it's way more accurate and definitely the way I prefer to read. And sure enough, there are reversals in here. And I just happened to open this onto the tower. The tower is like one of the most momentous prophetic cards in the whole deck. It's one of the major arcana. While people associate the death card with ill omen, the tower is actually more about signaling disaster. So that's an interesting thing to have opened up to. That's funny. All right, so let's look at the actual deck. Ooh, it's so shiny. We've got an interesting kind of matte texture to them, which I think is going to make them really easy to pick up and manipulate while I'm doing readings. Ah, oh, the artwork is just so crisply printed and the gold elements, it looks like there's like one gold element, usually a sun or moon in each of the cards art. And the imagery in this is definitely not the same as a traditional tarot deck. Instead of having a more literal interpretation of the symbology from the original tarot artwork. This is all original artwork by Nunu of her skeleton and girl characters, which are very impactful and meaningful to her and just beautiful. I do have my own Story You Don't Know JSK and I bought her art book back in the day. So I'm a bit of a fangirl and I do love these characters. They got me through a kind of hard time in my life as well. So I'm so excited to have these and maybe someday I will do a live stream tarot reading of something or someone um, at some point if there's interest in that. In any case, um, these are beautiful and precious. I'm going to put them away so that we can get on to dresses and stuff. Okay, I guess I'm delaying gratification a little bit because I am seeing a big velvet bag, but I'm picking up the smaller pieces from around the side of the box. Here is a wall hanging that came with this set. I chose the Wheel of Fortune because it's one of my very favorite cards. Here is the tote bag. It's printed on one side and the printed side doesn't actually have like gold leaf or anything. It's just a very vibrant kind of goldenrod print. Rather thin as tote bags go, I don't think I will be going grocery shopping with this anytime soon, but it looks like a great place to store some folders or books or letters, stuff like that. Very beautiful, very happy to have it. Mm. This must be the tarot cloth. It's not strictly necessary for doing a reading, but it does help to set the mood if you've got a flat surface and you want to put some sort of fabric on top of it. It generally makes the cards easier to pick up, which can be really challenging when you've got fake long fingernails, especially. It seems like it's sort of a faux suede. It's definitely not the kind of fabric I've seen before. Usually I see like thinner chiffonier fabrics. Wow, that is so pretty. Uh, I don't currently have like a designated reading area in my home because I live in a condo and it's rather small, but someday, someday I will have a designated reading table and this will go on it. And the last of the little independent packages is this beret. <laughs> So I chose the white on black for the beret because I wanted this beret to do double duty. I do have the Full Moon Night OP also by Han Newley. This motif is just going to match the front of the skirt of that dress so beautifully and I have always struggled with headwear for coordinating that. So this seems like a lovely and appropriate option. Hmm, and it's nice and roomy. Yeah, I think I might just keep this on for a while. I like it a lot. <laughs> now the moment we have all been waiting for. Oh my goodness. Okay, all of the little items were in here first and I'm peeping the dress. I'm going to try to hold off on actually talking about the dress for 20 seconds because I just want to show off the other things that are currently here on top. The bag is velvety. It's basically a giant version of the one that is on the outside of the tarot deck itself. And because of all of the stretch goals, I did actually get five of the enamel pins. There were a few in particular that stood out to me that I really wanted and the rest I was just asked to choose and I was like, wow, there's so many choices. So I picked the ones that I thought I could find good homes for amongst my tarot reading friends or Lolita fanatic friends, the lovers. 
The Hanging Man, The Fool, The Sun, which is definitely one that I will be keeping, and The Ace of Pentacles, which is the one that I wanted the most and was going to plan on getting, assuming I was only going to get one of these. The way that the pentacles are drawn in this deck are so beautiful, and I thought there was something really special about the art for this in particular. Yeah, it just really spoke to me, and it is a card that has come up in some pretty important readings in my past, so definitely going to rock this in my Eda bag or something. Now, the set also came with washi tape. I have never used washi tape for anything before in my life, but I do have a Lolita pen pal, and I know she watches these videos, so hey, Olivia, if you are watching, check your mailbox. You might have some stuff decorated with washi tape soon. Ooh. This is either a print or maybe a postcard. Looks like it might be stickers, but it's kind of hard to tell. This came with the set and it wasn't something I was specifically trying to get. It was just like one of those stretch goal things. And we do have stationery here. This is a paper pad and I feel like this is way too precious to just use on grocery lists and stuff. So maybe I will uh, host a murder mystery dinner and write some clues on these or something. It was gorgeous. I didn't <laughs> and Hainuli's releases are famous for their postcards of which I have hoarded every single package I've ever gotten. Here they are. They have some of the art from the deck on them. The backs are pretty simple. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and King of Swords. So it's the kings of all four suits. Okay. So, my spouse just got home and I was showing him the tarot deck and I realized there were more things in the bottom of this bag that I didn't notice before. Namely, this double-sided coin which has both of the characters on it and this like collectible seal thing, very cool. Also this clear bookmark and I'm constantly reading so we'll definitely get put to use. And these must be some stickers. But yeah, that's just so much stuff and I haven't even gotten to the other items of clothing yet. The contents are a lot of content. Now I think I may need to take off the hat after all because I did get the head bow. Mm. So as you can see I did get the Mystic Cosmos kind of galaxy print nebula dark blue purple colorway. Let's see. I don't know why I thought this was going to be a lot smaller, but I'm not upset at all. It is of the design where I can switch it around, I can turn it flat on my head, on the side of my head, and stuff like that. This is a very flexible piece, and that is what I like to see in my head bows. The print kind of goes across the top, and on the back of the bow, we have the collaboration tag. I also did get these stockings. I've actually never worn stockings from this brand before, so I'm not sure if the manufacturing is going to be the same or different. Wow, wow. So the top is the same on both sides as you can see here, but the legs are different. So the front of the legs has this lace up design and the back of the legs has this printed motif without the lacing. But I don't honestly have much hope that these will fit me. And in fact, I'm thinking I should probably not try them on because yeah, this isn't gonna fit my hips. That is a bummer. But I did think that was probably going to be the case. I'm not just going to hold on to these to collect them. I will be probably selling them because they're too beautiful not to be worn and enjoyed by someone. It just isn't gonna be me because I am too large. But let us not despair. We have for the grand finale, the freaking dress. So it arrived in the correct size and color. I did get the largest size available, the 2XL. Now the cut is very similar to Moss Badger's long version JSKs, but the size chart was more similar to High Newly's releases of the past. So I went by what was on the size chart, and I'm just really hopeful for the contents of this package to fit me, given how well my Moss Badger Teropter and Garden JSK fit me. So it is time to open the dress. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I'll start off by mentioning that there are three buttonholes because I'm putting the strap on the lowermost buttonhole because that is probably what I will need. I am so tall and I am so swole. I'm gonna need all that room. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm getting really excited. 
and emotional. Oh my God, I need a minute. It did come with tags and the tags have hollow writing, so that's a cool thing. This does seem to have the same cut and design as the Chiropteran Garden JSK, but the fabric is not quite as soft, so I think it is a different fabric manufacturer. The fabric definitely feels more consistent with High Newly's past releases than the Chiropteran Garden JSK, but the style of the bodice with the princess seams here and the simple solid strap is very reminiscent of Chiropteran Garden, as is the pleating at the top right here. It does have a side zipper here, which it will close with and no hook and eye. Can I just pause to say how beautiful this lining fabric is? That is gorgeous. And now let me move this up because uh, you need to get a better view of this print. Oof. So the print has two layers of tarot card imagery on the bottom, and there are rows of moons and suns and keys throughout the middle section of the skirt. And of course, I got the Galactic Nebulous colorway, but they do also have a monochrome gray and a pure black and white, so I can't speak to how those print versions look, but the quality on this one is just stunning. The level of detail in the way that these figures in the like white negative spaces and the way that they overlap with the actual color range of the nebula design is so pretty. Like there's this little spot of teal in here, just gorgeous. And here you can see there are even some oranges. It's, ugh, it's so pretty. Ah, it's like a dark witchy rainbow. <laughs> The hem is very simple. It does have both of the brand names represented along the bottom edge. And there is a full length lining also made of that purple stuff. The brand tag looks like this. And there are washing instructions on the back, baby. Wash separately, inside out, do not bleach, wash in cold water, dry clean is recommended. Dry, low heat, hang to dry, dry in shade, iron, low heat. Great, I will absolutely be dry cleaning this because I have a dry cleaner that I trust with my brand. Let's take a look at the back. So the print of the skirt does continue onto the back, but because of the way the shirring panel is inserted, the pleats are not quite the same. They're not really as crisp. They are gathered up at the top throughout this section, but I think when it is stretched a little bit more, it will still look pretty pleated. It'll just also look a little roughly. There is a simple black ribbon lace up on the back of this panel. The loops are also made of ribbon and the shirring panel takes up about a quarter of the total circumference making this quarter shirring, but it looks like there is plenty of room for this to stretch. Oh, and did I mention it has pockets? It's got pockets. 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 Okay, I think that's a little too much excitement already for one day. I'm gonna try this on today, but I won't be filming it, assuming it fits me, which, oh my God, it better fit me. It better fit me. Yes, okay. So, assuming it fits me, I will plan out some time before this video is supposed to go live to do a proper coordinate try-on. It deserves better light, it deserves better makeup, and I do want to do it before I have to replace my nails. But on the off chance, I don't get to film the second half of this and have to make it a two-parter. Let's just do a sign off in this state just to be sure. Assuming we have time for three coordinates, what are some things you'd like to see this dress coordinated with? I think right off the bat, I definitely want to go for my Miss Danger overdress with one cord. I definitely want to do long sleeves and short sleeves. I'm wondering if I should try any blouses that aren't black, maybe something purple, but I've got some ideas of cooking. And if this outro is in the video, that means that I still have time for you to weigh in before I do the chords. So please let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see based on what you've already seen out of my previous videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I apologize profusely if this comes across as bragging, but you can give me a thumbs up if you're jealous too. I won't blame you. Definitely make sure that you are following me on Instagram at Wrestling because I do post things there like 
details on my upcoming live stream, which is October 9th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to be cleaning out my closet to make room for beauties like this. So please join me there. Give my unwanted dresses a good home and a second life. And uh, hopefully we'll just have a great old time chatting away and uh, grooving to some good music while I do so. And of course, if you have not already, I am going to ask you to subscribe because that is the right thing to do. It's good karma. All right, I am Ellie Vira. I have been a plus size tall and swole Lolita. And in the next episode, we're trying this baby on. So stay tuned until next week. And I'm very sorry to have given you unboxing blue balls. It was not my intention, I swear. I swear. I am really sorry. Okay. Bye. <laughs>